everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I do a floral arrangement on this Mexican beach pebble. I am going to be using two Imagic brushes. And let's see what the sizes are here. I have a two and a four. These are both flat brushes. I'm also going to be using a number six low Cornell filbert brush and a dotting stylus. Paint I'm using today is cerulean blue. All these are folk art paints, a combination of enamels and multi-surface. Using wicker white, real brown, thicket, berry wine, moon yellow, and hydrangea. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using the number four to start creating my design. And what I'm going to be doing is double loading, I'm trying to get this on here, double loading my brush using the wicker white and the berry wine and just kind of going back and forth, doing a blending strokes to get this paint in the brush. Just going back and forth, getting a good load because you want to make sure your brush is loaded well with paint. And then I'm going to go ahead and get started. Alright, so basically I'm going to be doing a rose design for my main flowers. this one again. If you don't like the coverage, you know, just make sure you go over, over it again. Feel fine. Feel free to do that. One thing nice about painting on something that's movable, you can actually move your items so you can continue to paint whatever direction you need to go, as opposed to be painting on a stationary surface where you don't have that option. It's one thing I like about painting on glass or uh, you know, smaller items, just in general. And you can just keep building your strokes out if you want, or just leave it. Leave it as you, as you have it. And then just keep, keep going. Keep building. And I want these close together, so that's why I did it this way. You can actually have them separate where they're spaced out a little bit more, but this is intentional. I wanted them to overlap. And I'm going to go up here and just kind of go. Now you can do it where you're breaking it up and you're just doing, I feel like I need to get a little bit more berry one there, where you're separating out the petals or you can just keep doing the wiggle mo movement and make it just one elongated petal. However you want is fine. I like to put a lot of emphasis on this, the center. And then you can just come in here, continue to build petals around it. There's so many varieties of roses, it's it's not even funny, but this is just one that I'm just kind of creating as I go around it. All right, and then I'm going to put a couple smaller ones up here. 
make a little bit more white though. Just put making these little buds. Now just so you know, I have already cleaned off the stone before I painted on it. Anytime you're painting on a surface, you need to make sure that it's cleaned and ready to go before you start painting on it. Alright, and then I am going to grab my other paintbrush, the number two going to load it with the, oh and I did forget a paint, now that I'm saying that, the fresh foliage. I'm also using fresh foliage. So I'm going to be loading it with the fresh foliage and on the side of the fresh foliage with the thicket I am adding in some of the moon yellow. I really like the moon yellow. And you can you know, put around these little buds if you just want to make it look really simple, that's fine. Or you can do, you know, more elaborate leaves. I'm just keeping it simple for this design. And I'm going to come down here and do the same thing. Let's go make sure I'm on the on the video here. All right. And you can keep working it, you know, so if you don't like having as much yellow, that's fine. You don't have to have yellow. That is going to make my little, little uh, leaves that I like to use so much, just my little one stroke leaves up in there. And then I'm going to turn it around. Oops. And the reason I like to throw yellow into it is I think that the yellow actually just livens it up a little bit. But if you don't like it to show, you know, just blend it more. So I didn't blend it a whole lot. Alright, so I got little leaves around it like that. Then I'm going to just do some basic, just some basic, uh, my big wiggle leaves and I can turn it to where I have the darker on the outside on one side like that the light is on the other side and I can go back over it again I mean the thing of it is if you feel like you're not getting good coverage you know definitely go back over it again you want it to you know to be a nice coverage and not too thin. Oops, I don't want to put that on that side. I got my paint all mixed up here. Alright, so then I'll come in here and throw a little stem through it. Then I'm going to come back over here on this side where I have a little more room and do a couple more. And just wiggle, 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 wiggle. And again, I can do the opposite direction here. Pull it. Pull a little stem in it. And then come over here. Do the same thing. If I want to put the lighter green over it, I can. Throw a little bit of yellow into it. Let's see the yellow here, which is fine. Just wiggle and pull up. Very easy. You see how relaxing this is? I mean, I really, really, really like having just something that really just kind of gives a nice little flow and you can just relax and do this, or you can gather with some friends and do it. Now I'm just going to do a little pull like this. And I'm going to do it in a couple spots. Another one up here. 
And then what I'm going to do, because I'm going to keep adding on this, is I want to do a little, and I might add a little white into this too. I just want to want it to not all be this exactly the same. And I'm just doing little little pulls like this, just touching and pulling it towards the stem. Touching and pulling, touching and pulling, like that. Just, uh, it's a filler. You, know, you don't have to add them, but a lot of times they can give you, you know, a little bit more interest, fill in some spots that otherwise would be, would be empty. And if you want them empty, great, leave them empty. But if you don't, then they're just some great, great little feathers you can put into them. And this one's a little rough over here on the edges, so it's not applying quite as nicely as what I just did, but that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna take it and Leave it, maybe just put in some more that you can see a little bit better, like that. Now, what I'm going to do is take my little velvet brush that I mentioned, and I'm going to actually start by dipping it into the white. And this is going to be a little bit different than my initial, uh, my initial design, just because of you know, I try to draw around this stone so I know exactly what kind of a uh, you know, surface space I have to work on. But then I don't necessarily always stick to that. And then when I actually get onto my actual project, sometimes it's not as not as big as what it started out to be. So anyways, I hope that makes sense. I'm just taking this brush and just loading it single color and then just sporadically touch and pull. If I want to add more white into it, I can. If I want to put the brush down, you know, like that, I can too. It doesn't have to be perfect. Not intended. Oops, I'm not on the camera, sorry. It doesn't have to be perfect. It can just be more loose. If you want it like that, maybe even throw in a little bit more of the darker color just to spread it out a little bit more. And go like that. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to add a little bit, maybe not as big because these areas aren't, aren't as big, but we'll just do a little bit. You can double load these if you wish. I'm choosing not to. And I'll be honest with you, when you see their people's different painting styles, it's hard to remember, but you really need to just come up with your own. You know, use like what I'm showing you as a design idea, and then create your own painting style with it. Because we all kind of, once you get going, you'll see that we all kind of have a different style doesn't all have to be the same. And I'm just going to do some little ones over here because I don't have as much area to work with. And again, you, you don't have to do, it doesn't have to be as busy as this one is. If you want to just do the roses and some, and some greenery around them, that's perfectly fine. This just gives it a little bit more interest, fills it in more. It's very simple. Let me go over it with some white. So I said I like to provide paintings that that anybody can do. You know, if you're a more experienced painter, go for it. If you're um, just beginning. You know, the minimal, easy stuff can actually be what's really good for you in order to learn from. Now I'm just going to go back in, add a few more little simple, simple petals here. Simple, I don't want to say petals, but leaves to fill in. 
and you can just be a little bit looser with them um, if you want. Just kind of fills it in a little bit more. And you can do little pulls throughout if you want. It doesn't have to be a set way, a set number. I like odd numbers when I'm dealing with things, but again, it doesn't have to be. And it can be more random, just doing little pulls. Little ones over here. You can turn your your brush and do them different ways. It's just so much fun. I like to be, I love to paint. Definitely love it. Alright, so then my last thing that I'm going to add on to it, again, it doesn't even have to be done. I'm going to take my dotting stylus and I'm doing just the straight one here. I'm going to dip it into some white and then I'm just going to come through here and in different places just add add some easy dotting. Doesn't have to be in any special order. I just will randomly put some throughout the rock. You could even do gold. You can maybe mix it up and even do a color that you haven't used in the design at all. That would be kind of fun. on that one. See it's just just sporadic and you can do a little or you can do a lot. And that's the thing when you're when you look at like say my design, not to do it identical. Add your own twist. Use, you know, it's okay to use other people's design ideas and expand on them to make your own. That's not a problem. But there you go. This might even add a few more down here just to... I like it. I like it just the way it is. Alright, I hope you like it too. I think it's beautiful. If you like this video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And when you're done viewing the video, hit that share button that you'll see underneath the video. Share this on your social network with all your family and friends. And until the next time, please stay safe and healthy. Hope to see you then, and then have a good one.